Well, good morning to you all. It's uh, very, very early. It's about quarter to six in the morning and um, I'm up early to get, hopefully, a shot of the uh, hen harrier and any other falcons that are about, really. Um, there's been a kestrel and merlin here also, so I was up here yesterday, spent four hours, found a, a favoured spot for the kestrel. Absolutely superb position, just a, on an old derelict building around some lovely... Um, Heart's tongue ferns that are coming out the top and the kestrel sits right in the middle. Absolutely beautiful, so it'd be great for a shot. So I'm heading off down there now, ghillie suit on, no hide today. So this is really the best time to be up and about really, just before everything comes to life in the morning. You can just hear the crows and some other smaller birds calling. I need to get into position on this derelict mine area, being rather careful where I go. This kestrel yesterday favoured this perch over about a three, four hour period, about a dozen times. And uh, I'm hoping this morning when it comes out to hunt, it's gonna go on that so here I am currently set up and this is the mound here that the kestrel's been landing on. I'm extremely close but I'm hoping to get in good position here really and uh, get cammed up. I hope for the best. Um, there's absolutely no wind. It's a beautiful morning. Um, I'm going to get under the bag hide and really just hope for the best. Um, it's worth a try at least, and then uh, just for a couple of hours and then head home for breakfast, but uh, oh, it's tremendous being here this time of the morning. Absolutely nothing. Beautiful. So we've just had two kestrels uh, land nearby, 90 degrees from where I am in another tree. Um, we've just gone off hunting a bit further behind where I am. in front a bit further off so fingers crossed they come in really dark in coloration, the buzzard. Um, I find this hide extremely good really. I was photographing uh, peregrines early in the summer and um, I got really close with this bag hide, with the tripod, with my stall. Absolutely superb really. We got a kestrel, we got a kestrel just off the back. Um, right behind where I am. Come in. I think it's an adult male. Um, yeah, come on, Kestrel. So I think the kestrel itself kind of feeds in like zone areas at times of day um, where it's quite a large reserve and just to have two kestrels on this reserve <clears throat> you know wanting to come and land here is it's not always a guarantee but I think it must have like areas it frequents 
in certain wind directions, certain times of the morning, it goes in certain places. Um, could have been one of those that, you know, wasn't up here, you know, um, at the time that they're frequenting this spot. This might be a bit, you know, a lot later on towards the evening. So you just really don't know, to be honest. Um, but at the end of the day, I know it lands here daily. I've seen it. I've set up a trail cam right on top of one of the old parts of the building there. And I went and checked it. And I had 369 videos of um, movement of branches and ivy. We just had a day of, a couple of days of 60 mile an hour wind. So the camera's got absolutely nothing on it. So I've now formatted the card and left it back there again. And hopefully I'll be able to get some decent um, Decent little bits of video, really, at 1080p, um, maybe for the for the vlog, but uh, you know, no guarantees. Um, but uh, yeah, it's worth a go anyway. It's nice to see, and I can work out its patterns as well. Then, what time of day it seems to perch on there, etc. So. So I decided to move location now, and uh, it's kind of coming up to midday. So. I've decided to stay a little bit longer, but I've moved location and now I've got the uh, bag hide and I've got my stall here and set up um, another good perching point for the kestrel on an old building covered with ivy and there's a bit of holly and stuff in there. Um, so yeah, good to go. Small, you can see current view there is yeah, the building. So I've got all my kit, <clears throat> all my lunch and stuff here, quite well hidden sun over to my left and I'll uh, just do some gear over there so yeah fingers crossed I don't sit here for four hours and uh, get nothing but uh, we'll see we'll see so the GoPro um, although it renders quite nice um, video the menu system on them are terrible and it doesn't take a lot just to with a touch screen as well it's not very user-friendly you really have to work at it. Um, the other day I came out and did a vlog, I set up at 4K at 30, linear. I ended up shooting the whole thing in 120 at 1080, so it was all slow motion, and I didn't even touch it. Um, so I got to keep checking, and then just then I went back to do some video, and it was on eight megapixel pictures. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, so you've really got to keep your eye on them, really. They have a bit of a moment. We have a, day, a minute ago, I couldn't turn it on. It wouldn't work. I've got a legit battery in there. And um, I had to take the battery out, put it back in again, and it works fine. It's just, yeah, they're not... They're all right for what they are, but uh, they certainly aren't that um, user-friendly, I don't think. Um, but hey, you've got to keep checking. So as I was walking in um, to this spot, I'm parked about a mile away um, out in the uh, reserve. And I did see two kestrels um, hunting up near where my Land Rover's parked. So it's a good thing really is that when I came in here, I did a good recce around, checked all the fence posts. Uh, I flushed a buzzard off one of the um, points here, but it flew off off the back and it couldn't see me. So now I'm set up and I don't think anything's watched me come in. So fortunately, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty good because if I'd have come in, set up and there'd been a kestrel on a post watching me, then it wouldn't come over here. So they're not stupid. So I've just had some amazing, uh, amazing view of a Harrier. Um, unfortunately, it was shooting quite close to the sun, so it's really quite badly silhouetted. But um, you can just see here, you can just see there, it looks like to me a marsh Harrier. Um, by looking at its, its head, it looks uh, fairly creamy, so it could be a female or stroke juvenile. But uh, typical Harrier hunting over, um, just over some trees, really low down. Low, uh, low sort of V-shape, um, just over the over the heath. Absolutely superb to see, uh, and just went off the back. But uh, yeah, ter terrible shots, unfortunately. But uh, I took a few there. Hopefully, clean a few up, and they'll come out okay. But oh, fantastic to see, and I got some video. But with its uh, movements off the back at distance and the wind blowing the lens barrel, they're not the best. But uh, oh man, it doesn't really matter. It was just awesome to see. I mean. You could be up here a week and not see a Harrier, and I've just seen one, and I'm so chuffed. You know, it's made my day. If nothing turns up now, you know, I'm happy. Um, you know, these birds are scarce. I'm just seeing it. It's probably moved through, that's it, probably leave, or it may just go do a circuit, but uh, yeah, fantastic, absolutely fantastic.
So things seem to be hotting up a bit now. Um, obviously just saw that marsh area, which I think definitely is a marsh area. And I've um, just got two kestrels uh, to the right of me uh, hunting. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to push over this way and uh, come and land on their favourite perch. But uh, no guarantees, but it's great just to see stuff happening. I mean, I've sat here for quite a while now and it's not a lot been happening at all. Um, and then suddenly, you know, we get the harrier and then we get two kestrels. So yeah, happy days really. Um, you know, three or four sessions here, four or five hours a time, haven't got a lot of time um, due to looking after my son and stuff. And uh, yeah, finally you get to see something and, you know, not necessarily got any great images, but uh, yeah, just to see it, it's superb. I had to cut off a little bit quick then. The kestrel came flying through from nowhere. Um, bit of a silhouetted shot there, but uh, still, it uh, went right past the uh, perching point. Uh, I'm hoping maybe it's just hunting out to the right at the minute. I'm hoping it might, that might pop back in, all being well. But yeah, awesome to see, yeah, great to see. Oh, fantastic, just seen the uh, ringtail hen harrier. Um, just going up a, a fence line. Just some dog walkers were walking up. I think they must have flushed it and uh, I got sight of it at a distance and uh, now it's gone. Uh, I'm really hoping it's gonna push down this way. Um, fingers crossed. So I've uh, stayed in that location for quite a few hours and um, nothing's come in and perched. So I uh, decided to, for the last sort of hour, is just to tuck myself behind this old building here because the wind is really quite strong. It's a northwest and the lens barrel's moving all over the shop. So I've just parked up myself here and so I can get a good view of the, of the actual downs themselves, the heath just to see if that marsh harry is about or a hen harry coming in and just to see if I could do a bit of video um, with it maybe quartering around. Um, there's a nice bowl in the middle here, if you can see through there. So this is kind of what you can see. And that sunlight was coming a bit of a pain as well. So just the last hour, just have a crack here really um, and see if anything will turn up and uh yeah just enjoy it really it's nice being out of the bag hide a bit a bit more freedom to move um nicely tucked up behind here i think trusty kit cat um just to chomp on and uh then i'll head back and that's a fairly successful day you know i haven't really got any decent pictures of the um of the kestrel really got some distant shots i got some Slightly silhouetted shots of uh, the marsh harrier as well, which which was nice to see, and I got a little bit of video, but it really wasn't that close. But uh, nevertheless, it's good to get out, and um, you know, it's, it was a beautiful, beautiful morning. Uh, hearing the birds, sun coming up, absolutely fantastic. But you know, it's a long, long day with not a lot to show for it. But you know, that's the way it goes, really. Um, but uh, last hour, see what's about, and fingers crossed, might get some luck. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna pretty much call it a day there. That's um, 10 hours today out in the field with not a great deal to show. Great to see the Harrier, seen the Kestrel, uh, you know, a few other smaller bird species as well. So it's been nice, you know, to see, see the Harrier, to be honest, made my day. Um, the shots aren't great, the video's not great, but you know, I'm gonna persevere with this place a lot more through the, uh, later in the autumn and the winter, so I'm hoping to get a lot more. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time.